Hi guys, it's Connie here from Say It With Simplicity, and today I'm here in Cricut Design Space, and I'm going to be talking about how to use the offset tool to thicken a font in Cricut Design Space. Now I'm going to be using it as examples a couple of different fonts. Um, I'm going to be using the skinny font that's pretty popular for farmhouse, and also the the French bread font, which is also a popular farmhouse font. And I'm going to, I'll leave a link to where these are both available commercially, but the French bread font is also available in Cricut Access, so you'll be able to use that one um, in Design Space without having to go outside to purchase it if you um, currently have a subscription to Cricut Access. So generally speaking, I think you're going to have an easier time cutting and an easier time weeding when you thicken some of the fonts that are narrow like this or that, or if you have a script font with the really tiny thin loops or a serif font with the really thin serifs. And when you go to use these as decals, you'll also have more surface area when you go to adhere them to your product. But keep in mind, it's always a good idea to have a good blade and do test cuts before you waste any kind of expensive material. And even the cut settings can be a huge factor in cutting out some of these fonts. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new project. And I'm going to use those fonts again. But let's go here and type out coffee. And let's choose our the skinny font again. And then let's duplicate this. And we'll go over here and do sugar. And these are all caps fonts. So let's duplicate this and change it to the French bread font. And I'm just going to move these around a little bit because when I open up the offset, so let's just go to our first one here and let's go to our offset tool and you can see that it wants to offset that by 0.25 so let's go back in here and go 0.03 and hit enter and now you have a little bit of an offset you need to click apply and now you can see that you have your letters in gray and you have the offset in black and we're just going to mouse over all of this and hit weld and that's going to make this into all the offset and the lettering into all one image. Let's try it again. We're going to go to this one and the offset remembers our 0 0.03 now and we're just going to click apply and we're going to select all of these and weld. And we can go ahead and do that with
both of these. And I just wanted to save a little time here so I didn't weld them right away. And now you have all of your images created. Maybe I want to make these all two inches. I can do that. Just highlight that and change the size. And now I can click Continue. And I'm going to be using my matte vinyl. So you can see how easy it is to thicken your fonts with the offset tool. As a desktop laptop user of Cricut Design Space, I was absolutely thrilled when they rolled out this feature for Cricut Design Space. So it's been kind of fun discovering new ways to use it. In the next part of the video, I'm just going to be playing some quiet music and weeding one of the decals that I created as a result of this tutorial. And then I'm going to be applying it to a canister that I'm using in my kitchen. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you liked it, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And I hope you'll subscribe to my channel so you can get more tutorials on how to use your cutting machine to create for your home and family. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.